and we're gonna get started in our flow. Now, I would love to teach and practice outside, but the mosquitoes make us an all-you-can-eat buffet. So I'm not gonna try that again. <laughs> so I'm going to take off these headphones and we're gonna come over here to the section to practice. I ask you to find any seat that feels good for you. Maybe a fire log, lotus, half lotus. Whatever feels good for you. May you take that seat. As we take nice, natural, intentional breaths. Maybe we can breathe in deeply. Hold in a breath. Exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Breathe in deeply. Holding a breath, filling our lungs with air. Exhale fully. <sighs> Releasing the air from our lungs. Maybe noticing how the breath relaxes and soothes the mind and body. Maybe we can gaze downward towards the earth or close our eyes. May we use the down gaze to help us relax and go inward here today. Nice natural breaths. Relaxing our shoulders downward away from our ears. Taking notice if our body is tense or relaxed. Tummies are nice and tight. Our spinal cords are nice and long. As we keep our eyes gazed down. becoming more focused, more present in our moment. As we breathe our palms at heart center, we are in our seated prayer. Maybe we can allow our thumbs to touch our sternum, continuing to gaze down as we bring awareness to our present moment. Natural breaths. Becoming centered. As we sit in silent meditation for six natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we breathe in deeply, exhaling our palms above our head, seated salute, reaching our fingertips up towards the ceiling, filling our spinal cord, get nice and long. Chin is slightly up, tummies are tight. Fill in a seated stretch here. Exhale in seated twist, right side. Gazing over that right shoulder. Noticing how that gaze, that stretch, relaxes and soothes the spinal cord. I'm going to hold this pose. Four more natural breaths. Going in. As we exhale back to center, seated star, palms above the head, slightly off to the side. We are in our star. Exhale, seated twist, opposite side. Gazing over that left shoulder, feeling that spinal twist.
relax in the body. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, seated star, palms are up, off to the side, chin slightly up, chest, heart chakra is slightly forward, noticing how our chest opens up. Still in a stretch here, as we bring our palms inward, allowing our fingertips to touch our shoulders, hugging ourselves, finding ourselves in a seated hug. We are hugging our shoulders with each hand, using this time to self-soothe, using this time to show gratitude and appreciation to ourselves. Nice deep breath. Exhale fully. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Noticing how the breath relaxes and soothes. Our eyes are still gazed down or closed. Two more breaths. Exhale up, seated salute, palms above the head, allowing our palms to touch each other. Reaching our fingers up towards the ceiling. Spinal cords nice and long. Exhale, seated prayer. Relaxing the body. Fingertips are touching our sternum. Shoulders are relaxed downward away from our ears. We are taking this time to relax and soothe our minds and our bodies. Two more breaths. As we relax our right hand to the sides of our body, lifting our left hand up above our head, allowing our left hand to reach over our head as our bodies lean towards the right, feeling that side bend, tummies nice and tight, eyes or gaze downward or closed, feeling this stretch, relaxing our right shoulder downward away from our bodies, Three more breaths. Exhale back to center. Both palms are on the earth besides our bodies. Connecting our palms to the earth, feeling the connection. Going inward as we reach our right palm up above our head, reaching it towards the side, left side bend. Our arm goes over to the left side Feel in the side stretch, chin slightly up, eyes are closed or gaze down. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, both palms are on the earth as we connect to our environment. Maybe keeping our eyes closed or gaze down if that feels comfortable for us. Tummies tight, shoulders are away from the ears, spinal cord is nice and long. As we listen to the sounds of our environment, as we go inward, as we only take in the sounds and the emotions and the feelings that are self-serving, that is beneficial to us, for this is our time. Exhale and palms above the head, seated salute. Exhale, seated twist, right side, gazing over that right shoulder. Exhale back, seated salute. Seated twist, left side, gazing over that left shoulder. Exhale back to center, seated salute. Breathing down a seated prayer. 
as we bring our legs to a butterfly or a diamond pose. We are in our bound position with our feet connecting, butterfly or diamond. Now noticing when we're in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our bodies, which creates that deeper hip opener. However, if we're not there yet, we can bring our feet further away from our bodies. And now we are in our diamond pose. So we are gonna do whatever feels good for us. And when we do this pose, it is a nice option to give to our students to let them know that they can come into either a diamond or a butterfly. And now that we're in this pose, we're gonna do a couple of seated cat cows in our diamond or butterfly. Coming into our cow, our chest, chakra comes up, our chin comes up. Noticing how this feels in our spinal cord. As we exhale to our cow, our chin comes towards our clavicle. Our spinal cord goes off towards the back. Still in the movement here. And we're gonna do a couple of cat-cow rotations to our natural breath. Using the cat-cows to relax and soothe. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause at center. Nice, deep breath in. Holding a breath. Exhale through the nose. Breathe in fully, filling the lungs with oxygen. Exhale through the nose. Gazing downward. As we bring our feet straight out in front of us, coming into our staff pose, our legs are straight, parallel, side by side. Notice how this feel. Our spinal cord feels nice and long. Our shoulders are back, chin is up. As we breathe our palms above our head, we are in our staff pose, salute. I'm sorry, yes, we are in our salute. Exhale in our palms to heart center, we are in our prayer. As we hinge at the hips, leaning forward, seated forward fold, allowing our chest to come towards our thighs, our legs. Noticing how this feels in our bodies, going as deep as we comfortably can. Maybe we can close our eyes or gaze our eyes downward as we get lost in this moment. We're going to hold this pose for four more natural breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. Coming up to a half seated forward fold, slightly lifting our back up, slightly gazing forward. Noticing how this feels behind our legs, feeling that stretch, nice and deep. As we exhale back to our staff, nice natural breaths. Taking our right foot, lifting our knee in the air, our right foot is flat on the earth. We're gonna come into a twisted pose here, or maybe a Sage Marici, lifting our right arm up, leaning towards the left, leaning forward, and wrapping that right arm around our leg, taking our left arm and bringing it behind our backs and interlacing our fingers together like we are in the cat cow fingers here, holding this pose. Two more breaths. As we uninterlace our fingers, unwrapping that leg, coming back into our staff pose, reaching up to our seated salute. Exhale, seated prayer. As we hinge at our hips, seated forward fold, bringing our torso towards our legs. 
going in as deeply as we can, noticing how this feels in our bodies. Exhaling back up to our staff. Lifting our left leg up, knees in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. Lifting our left arm up in the air, leaning our body towards the right, leaning forward and wrapping that left arm around our leg, taking our right hand, bringing it behind our backs and interlacing our fingers together. We are in our Sage Marici. We're gonna hang out here four breaths. Two more breaths. As we uninterlace our fingers, unwrapping that leg, coming back into our staff pose, breathing our palms above our heads. We are in our salute. Exhale to prayer. As we come back, lifting our right leg back up in the air, placing our right foot flat on the floor. Now, if we ever have a client who cannot get into a Sage Marici, there is a, another pose that we can have them do, stepping our right foot over our left leg. Yes, taking our left elbow and bringing it over our right leg. Yes, taking our right arm and bringing it behind our backs, fingertips facing away from us as we gaze over that right shoulder. Noticing how this pose stretches and relaxes the mind, mind, the mind, body, and the spinal cord. Gazing our eyes down. And this is a nice modification for any client or ourselves who was unable to get into that Sage Marici. We're gonna hang out here for three more natural breaths. As we exhale back to center, uncrossing that leg, coming back into our staff, Lifting our left leg up. Left foot is flat on the floor. For a client who can't get into that Sage Marici, not yet anyway, we can ask them to step their left foot over their right leg. Taking their right arm and crossing it over their left knee. Placing their left hand behind their backs with the fingertips facing away from them as they gaze over that left shoulder. Nice deep breath as we may notice how this pose relaxes and soothes our mind, body, and our spinal cord. Natural breaths. Gazing downward or closing the eyes. We're gonna hang out here for four more natural breaths. Two more breaths. Nice deep breath in. Exhale into center, coming forward, coming into that staff pose. <sighs> Breathing our palms above our head. Seated salute. Exhale, seated prayer. Handing at the hips, at the hips, seated forward fold. Closing our eyes as we get lost in this pose. Maybe we can hang out here for three more natural breaths. As we exhale to our half seated fold, chest comes slightly up. Gazing forward, noticing how this feels in our backs. 
exhaling back to our staff. As we come into a wide-legged seated pose, bringing our legs apart, we are working on opening up our hip flexors here as wide as we comfortably can, noticing how this feels. As we hinge at the hips, leaning forward, reaching down to our lower legs or our feet, gazing forward, noticing how this is opening up our inner thighs. It is relaxing and stretching the inner thighs of our legs. So if we ever have a client or if ourselves, if we may feel tight in the hips, tight in the legs, this here is a nice pose to do. Hinging, leaning forward. We're gonna hang out here for more natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale up, walking our hands towards our bodies, coming into that straight pose. We're gonna take our right hand and reach our right hand down to our right toes. Noticing how that feels there. We are going deeper into our stretch. If this feels good, we're gonna take our left arm and reach it up above our head and connect that left fingertips towards our right toes. Noticing how this feels and maybe allowing our head to relax between our arms. Our torso may come closer towards our right leg. Feeling that stretch even deeper, we are in an extended hand to toe pose. Holding this pose, four more natural breaths. Breathing in deeply, exhaling fully, two more breaths. As we take a nice deep breath in and exhale back to center, relaxing the body, Hinging at our hips as we lean forward, maybe walking our hands in front of us, coming into that extended wide-legged, allowing our torso to fall down as much as we comfortably can. Feeling the stretch nice and deep in our inner thighs. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. as we walk our fingers back towards our bodies, towards our inner thighs. Using a hand motion, bringing our left hand to our left toes, feeling that side stretch here, also feeling it behind our legs. Nice deep breath in as we bring our right arm up in the air, over our head, and maybe we can bring our right hand towards our left toes bringing our torso downward, closer towards our leg, feeling a stretch. Tummies are nice and tight. Maybe we can gaze our eyes down or close our eyes. Taking natural breaths. Noticing how when we relax and breathe, we allow our bodies to go deeper into the pose. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Still in a stretch. As we exhale back to center, using our hands to bring our legs back into our staff pose, breathing up to a seated salute. Exhale, seated prayer, to seated forward fold. 
relaxing the body, allowing our torso to come towards our thighs, our legs, noticing how this seated forward fold relaxes and soothes our thighs, our legs. This is a counter stretch to the pose we just did. We're gonna hang out here for five natural breaths, allowing this pose to relax and soothe the muscles we just used when we went into our deep stretch. Eyes are closed. Or gaze down. As we get lost in the moment. Three more breaths. Exhale into a seated half fold. Can it come slightly up? Noticing how this feels. As we come into our staff, relaxing the body, situating our body to feel comfortable as we come into our bear pose, bringing our right foot towards our right hand, holding it in, hugging it in. And before we go into our bear pose, if we ever have a client who has an urge to hold the baby, we can always go into a cradle pose by allowing our bodies, our clients to hug the leg into their body. See this there, it feels like we're holding a baby. This is a pose that I like to teach in my prenatal classes to get them prepared for holding a baby or for a class that I may teach when I have a mother or a person who wants to become a mom and they're not a mom. This is a pose to get their mind and body ready to, to have a baby. So this is called the cradle pose. So maybe we can hang out here for a couple seconds just to notice how this feels that way, if we ever have a client who, who is pregnant or who is trying to become pregnant, we can offer them this pose to prepare their minds and their bodies to have a baby. Two more breaths. Now, may we take our right hand and connect it to our right foot and bring our right foot straight out to the side. We are gonna work on a bear pose here we also call this a boat pose variation. Maybe we can bring our foot off towards the side, nice and deep, feeling that stretch even more. Bringing that leg further away from the center of our bodies, feeling that stretch. Yes, we are doing a deep stretch here today. If that feels okay, bringing our leg back to neutral, getting nice and comfortable back to the center. If we are able, we're gonna take our left hand and connect our left hand towards our left foot, maybe bending our right leg for a second and bringing both legs out. Now on our bodies, our legs look like a V. And we feel, yes, we feel nice and deep here in this stretch. We are working our abdominal muscles. We are also building balance here. Noticing how our bodies are balancing and it may be a couple people who fall over and I tell you, it is so much fun in falling over and, and getting back up again. It is so much fun in that. So wherever your body may be, we are in our bear pose, AKA bolt pose variation. We are gazing forward. We're gonna hang out here, four more natural breaths. Two more breaths. <sighs> Relaxing the body, exhale. Coming into our bird, I'm sorry, coming into our butterfly or our diamond, bounding our feet together. Coming into a seated cat cow, bringing our chest, heart chakra up, chin comes slightly forward. Exhale into our cat. Chin comes towards our clavicle, spinal cord goes out towards the back of the room. As we do a couple of cat cow rotations to our natural breath. Hmm. 
when we're doing our cat and our cow, when we are in our cow, we can go nice and deep by allowing our head to go up in the air, chin comes up, and our head falls back towards our, between our shoulder blade. Noticing how we go nice and deep in that cow. You may even feel your spinal cord crack even more. Holding that pose for a couple breaths if you're able. Noticing how the seated cat cow stretches and relax our spinal cord even more. Exhale the cat, relaxing the pose. Coming back to our butterfly or our diamond if that need be. As we cross our legs, bringing our feet towards our buttocks, we're gonna find ourselves in the um, cow face. Crossing our legs in front of us. Reaching our palms above our heads, feeling that stretch. Fingertips goes up towards the heavens, towards the ceiling. Exhale the prayer. Now, if we ever have a client who cannot get into the full cow face, they can always simply bring their palms together at heart center and find themselves in a cow face this way. This is a perfectly fine cow face. However, if we have a client who wants to go deeper, we can always, or we can always go deeper by bringing our right or left arm up in the air and taking that opposite hand and bringing it behind our backs and interlacing our fingers behind our backs, feeling that full cow face pose. See that there? So fingers are interlaced, behind, fingers are interlaced behind our backs. Now to get nice and deep inside that cow face, some, sometimes we have to lift our heart chakra up in the air. Our chin has to come slightly up in the air. And that allows our fingertips to connect behind our backs. It's all about proper body positioning, especially when we're not that flexible. We're gonna hang out here in our cow face for a couple breaths. But at any time, if we are or our clients cannot, we can always be in that prayer hand cow face. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center. And maybe we want to switch sides by taking the opposite hand and bringing the opposite hand up in the air and taking the other hand and wrapping that behind our backs and interlacing our fingers the opposite way. This way we can get proper stretching on both sides of our arms, our shoulder blades. Again, our if we sink our back in, we probably can't, some people can't interlace the fingers, but if we notice when we lift our chest up, see that there, when we sink, sometimes it doesn't work unless, unless we're really flexible. But if we have a client or ourselves, if we remember to lift our bodies up, keeping our spinal cord nice and long, chest comes up, chin comes slightly up, this positioning of the body allows us to interlace our fingertips behind our backs. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. As we exhale, uninterlacing those fingers, relaxing our arms, coming into a seated position of choice, whatever feels good for you, relaxing the body. <sighs> Taking our fingertips and touching our shoulders. Our chest heart, our chest heart chakra comes up, spinal cords nice and long, our shoulders go up and away from our ears. Feel that there? Noticing how this pose relaxes our shoulder blades from being in that cow face. So we are doing a counter stretch here. And we can go even more by lifting our shoulder blades up towards the ears and doing a couple of rotations towards the back. Noticing how this feels, how this relaxes, how this soothes the mind and body. And we can go as fast or as slow as we choose to go. 
tummy's tight. Natural breaths. Gazing downward. As we find our pause and rotate forward, going in the opposite direction, counter stretching that cow face we just did. Two more breaths. Finding our pause. Placing our palms beside our bodies. Now, if we have a client who is adamant on getting into those the cow face hands, but their, their fingers just can't interlace behind their backs, we can always do some prep poses that will allow our client or ourselves to get deeper in that pose, which is taking, let's start with the right hand side, taking our right hand and bringing it up. Our fingertips goes towards our shoulder blades. Yes. And we're going to take our left hand, connect it to our elbow, and push it towards the back. See that there? So what we are doing is we are applying slight pressure, ensuring that we are not hurting ourselves or overstretching our bodies. Noticing how when we do this, our heart chakra naturally comes up. Our chin naturally comes up in the air and it prepares our bodies and our minds to get into that cow face. So this here is a nice prep pose for our bodies or our clients. Two more breaths. Relaxing back to center. And because we just worked our right side, we have to work our left side. So we're gonna take that left side, fingertips facing away from us, bringing those fingertips towards our shoulder blades, taking our right hand, connecting it to our elbow and pushing our elbow backwards. Heart chakra comes up, chin comes up. Noticing how we are relaxing and soothing and stretching our bodies to prepare our bodies for that full cow face. Natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center, relaxing our palms on the sides of our bodies. <sighs> As we bring our attention forward towards our computer screen. And notice how we stayed close to the earth today because at times we may have a client who just do not feel like standing up but they want to get a nice relaxation going and they want to feel like their body is moving but they want to stay close to the earth to the earth so what we just did was we just did a nice grounding yoga flow we relaxed we soothed but we stayed close to the earth okay so we're gonna continue the flow. Since we're already in our seated position, we're gonna find ourselves here only for a couple breaths. Nice deep breath in, using the breath to ground us once again. Using the breath to help us become centered on our practice here today. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we gaze down towards the earth or close our eyes. May we sit in this pose for four natural breaths. As we exhale to our table, finding our bodies and our hands and our knees, any way that feels good for us, we are coming in our table, ensuring our knees are hip distance apart, our tummies are nice and tight, and everything that we do when we're working out practicing yoga, we wanna always ensure that we are engaging our abdominal muscles. The reason is 
because if we engage our abdominal muscles when we are working out, we will engage them throughout our daily lives, through our daily tasks. Dropping our bodies down to our cow, chin comes up, back is sunken. Exhale into our cat, chin comes towards our clavicle. Exhaling back to cow. As we breathe our right leg towards the back, we're gonna work on a sunbird pose here. Our leg is towards the back. Now, if we find our bodies unable to balance or if our clients are unable to balance, we can always give them the option to lower their toes downward towards the earth. That is always an option. Whatever feels good for us. Once we or our client finds our balance, we can take our left hand and bring it forward, coming into our full sunbird pose, or for short, bird pose. Gazing forward, tummy's nice and tight, holding the pose, three breaths. <sighs> we can go deeper in this pose and continue to work other body parts by doing a couple of pauses. Pulses, lifting our right leg up and bringing it slightly down. Noticing how this works, our gluteus maximus. We are working on our buns of still when we do our pulses. If we're able, we can stay still if that feels good for us. Three more breaths. Finding pause. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that tummy crunch. Exhale, back to bird, knee to elbow, back to bird. One more time, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch, holding it in, three seconds. Back to bird pose. Exhale to table as we drop to our cow. Exhale to cat. As we flow, bird pose, left side, bringing our left leg back, keeping in mind that we can always drop our toes downward towards the earth to keep our balance, whatever feels good for us. Tummies tight, gazing forward, bringing our right arm forward if that feels good, coming into that full bird pose. Tummies tight, four breaths. Two more breaths, filling our body's balance, gaining strength here. Pausing, and we can work our gluteus maximus on the opposite side, coming into our pulses, lifting our left leg up in the air, filling that pulse. We are working on our buns of steel, making our buttocks nice and round. We are lifting our gluteus maximus here in this pose. Three more breaths. Buns of steel here. Finding our pause, breathe in, exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird, feeling the flow, knee to elbow. Back to bird, knee to elbow, holding it in, three breaths. Exhale, back to bird. Drop into our table. Exhale to our cow, breathing to our cat. As we flow to our table, bringing our right arm off towards the side, we're gonna come into a thread the needle, threading that right arm through that left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, relaxing on our bodies here. We can go deeper if we choose by lifting our left arm up in the air and wrapping that left arm around the back. Maybe gazing our eyes down or closing our eyes. Taking natural breaths. Noticing how this feels in our bodies. We're gonna hang out here for three more breaths. Mm. 
exhale, unwrapping that arm, coming back to our table, thread the needle left side, left arm goes out towards the side, threading that left arm through that right heart chakra comes down, relaxing the body. We can go in deeper, wrapping our right arm around our backs, gazing our eyes down, closing our eyes. <sighs> completely relaxing our bodies, allowing our shoulders to fall forward. We're gonna hang out here for four more natural breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, unthreading that needle, coming back to our table, exhale to our cow, breathing to our cat, back to our table. As we push our bodies up to that first down dog, gazing back at our feet, using the stretch, pushing our hands up, allowing our torso to come towards our thighs. Noticing how we feel the stretch even deeper, hanging out here, gazing at our feet, maybe lowering our eyes. We are working our upper bodies here. Maybe we can walk our dog by pedaling our feet. Left to right, right to left. Exhaling forward to our high plank. We are working our upper bodies here. In our high plank or our low plank, whatever feels good for you. Ensuring our tummies are nice and tight. We're gonna hang out here, two more breaths. Exhale to our chaturanga. We can come to our knees if we choose, working our upper bodies. Exhale to our cobra, ensuring that our shoulders are away from our ears here. We can do a baby cobra, a baby cobra if that feels good. Chin slightly up, our shoulders, our head relaxes between our shoulder blades. Feeling that spinal bend here. Exhale, up dog. Coming off of our thighs. Noticing the difference between a cobra and an up dog. They are very similar. In our cobra, our thighs are on the earth. In an up dog, our thighs are off the earth. That is the difference. Exhale back, down dog. Build this strength in our arms. As we gaze back at our feet. As we pedal our feet, walking our dog. Two more breaths. Finding our pause as we come into our three-legged dog, right side, right legs in the air, nice and high, as high as we can. Gazing back at that foot. Bending our right foot towards our left buttocks, noticing how that opens up our hips. We are building strength in our arms, hanging out here, two more breaths. If we choose, we can flow into a wild thing, feeling that stretch in our bodies. If not, we can come back down to a down dog or a dolphin. Two more breaths. Exhale back, down dog. Pedal on our feet as we walk our dog. Three-legged dog, left side, left legs in the air, nice and high. Gazing back at that foot. Bending our right foot towards our left buttocks, opening up that hip. As we flow into a wild thing, feeling that stretch. We can come into a down dog or a dolphin. 
if that feels best for us. Two more breaths, fill in a stretch. Exhale back, down dog. <sighs> Dropping down to our dolphin, coming on our forearms. Noticing how the dolphin pose relaxes and soothes the body. As we are gazing back at our feet and our dolphin. And if we ever have a client who is in a down dog and they don't have a whole lot of upper body strength yet, we can always give them the option to flow down to that dolphin. See that there? So they're, they appear to be in the exact same pose as the rest of the class, except they're on their forearms. Gazing back at the feet in the dolphin. Yes, and I see people already doing it. They're walking their feet towards their bodies, towards their torso, noticing how the buttocks comes higher in the air. Now this dolphin pose prepares the mind and the body for a headstand. So we're gonna hang out here in our dolphin for four to five more natural breaths, noticing how this feels. At any time, you can come into a child's pose or a puppy pose. Walking our feet closer towards our bodies here in our dolphin, noticing how our buttocks comes higher in the air. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. We're gonna do some bonus points here. And if you really wanna feel this pose, we can play on our tippy toes by slightly coming up on our tippy toes, just a little, feeling that tippy toe pause, coming up on our tippy toes. If we choose, noticing how that really prepares our bodies for headstands, As we drop to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose or puppy pose, whatever feels good for you, allowing our torsos to relax between our bodies, gazing our eyes down, or closing our eyes. Natural breaths. Maybe we can walk our fingertips forward to the front of our yoga mat, feeling that stretch even more. And if you choose, we can rock our bodies from side to side in our child's pose, noticing how that opens up the hips even more. As we find our pause and wave our bodies to our table, but before we come to our table, we're going to do a couple of spinal waves by using our hands to wave our bodies. Noticing how this spinal wave feels on our spinal cord. is a relaxing movement that helps the mind and the body relax and soothe. It also stimulates and awakens the mind, body, and soul. Two more breaths. As we come back to our table and push our bodies back up to our down dog, as we flow the three-legged dog, right side, right legs in the air. As we exhale, right foot, right hand, coming into our runner's lunge, holding that pose, gazing up in our runner's lunge. As we lift our bodies up to our warrior one. Hanging out here in warrior one, noticing how this feels in our body. As we exhale, warrior two. Breathing back, warrior one, or high lunge, whatever feels good for you. 
back to warrior two. Exhale, reverse warrior. To extended side angle, crossing that right arm over that right leg. Extended side angle is our right arm is up in the air. However, we can wrap that right arm behind our backs. If that feels good for you, gazing over that left shoulder if our arm is wrapped behind our back. Two more breaths. As we breathe forward to our pyramids, framing out that front foot, straightening out that front leg. Noticing how that feels in your body. We are in our pyramid. Allowing our torso to relax down and fall over that front leg. Maybe we can close our eyes and get lost in this movement. <sighs> Exhale and back to runner's lunge by bending that front leg. We are back in our runner's lunge. <sighs> As we exhale, down dog. We're gonna keep on flowing. Coming into three-legged dog left side. Left leg comes up in the air. <sighs> Bringing that left foot to left hand, coming into that runner's lunge, opposite side. <sighs> Holding that pose. Breathing up to warrior one. Holding that pose in our warrior one. Working our legs, our quads. Exhale, warrior two. Breathing back, warrior one. Exhale, reverse warrior. As we flow to extended side angle, crossing that left arm over that left leg. Right arm is up in the air nice and high, but we can always wrap that right arm around our backs. Gazing over that right shoulder. We're gonna hang out here, three more breaths. Exhale forward to our pyramid, straightening out that front leg in front of us. <sighs> Allowing our torso to fall over that front leg. <sighs> Exhale, down dog. Gazing back at their feet as we pedal our feet and walk our dog. As we come into a complete forward fold. Standing, walking, jumping into that complete forward fold. Nice, natural breath here. Noticing how this pose relaxes and soothes the mind and our body. Exhale, half forward fold. Nice deep breath. Breathing back to forward fold. Maybe we can come into a rag doll if we choose by grabbing our elbows from side to side with our hands. Allowing our bodies to relax even more. And yes, we can rock from side to side if that feels good for us. Noticing how we feel the stretch behind our legs. Mm. Hanging out here for three more breaths. Exhale, forward fold to half forward fold. As we breathe up to our Tadasana, palms at our side, we are in our standing mountain. Notice how we feel. Exhale, the standing salute, palms above the head. Reaching up on our tippy toes, we are on our tippy toes. Noticing how our bodies get nice and tall. We are feeling a stretch. We want, to work sure, we want to make sure that we are working our lower parts of our legs as well. So slightly up on our tippy toes, noticing how this feels in our hamstrings. 
I'm sorry, in our calves. As we exhale the standing prayer, palms are right heart center. Relaxing our shoulders down away from our ears. <sighs> Breathing back the standing salute or extended mountain. As we breathe to the right side, standing crescent moon, allowing our bodies to bend towards the right, feeling that side bend. Exhale back to standing. Salute. Crescent moon, left side. Bending our bodies towards the left. Tummies nice and tight. Exhale back to center. Breathing to our standing prayer. Relaxing the body. Nice deep breath in. Exhale fully. As we bend at our knees, coming into our chair pose. We can keep our hands at prayer center or we can extend our arms in front of us, whatever feels good for us. In our chair pose, we are working our quads here, making our legs feel nice and strong. <sighs> A couple more breaths. Whatever feels good for you. If our arms are extended, maybe we can bring them into prayer hands. As we twist our bodies towards the right, chair pose twist. Hanging out here, three more breaths. Exhale back to center. Chair pose twist, left side. Exhale back to center. We are working our quads. We are working our thighs. We are building our leg strength here. Three more breaths. Almost there. Two more breaths. Breathe. Forward fold. Relaxing the body. Noticing how this forward fold counter stretches the chair pose we just, we just did. It relaxes and soothes the knees and the legs. We're gonna hang out here, four breaths. As we exhale to our rag dial, hugging our elbows from side to side. Noticing how that relaxes and soothes our bodies even more. Three more breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, relaxing our bodies. As we walk our fingers forward, coming back into our down dog. Gazing back at our feet. Tummies are nice and tight here. We are always controlling our abdominal muscles. Exhale forward. Coming into an up dog. Chin comes slightly up. Feeling a slight back bend here. Exhale to our cobra. Shoulders are away from our ears, making sure that we are not sunken down. Always controlling our bodies here. As we breathe down to our Sphinx pose, coming onto our forearms like we do when we are in our dolphin. Relaxing in our Sphinx. <sighs> nice, deep breath in. Exhale through the mouth. As we gaze downward, we'll close our eyes. Maybe we can ensure that our shoulders are not sunken. We wanna lift them away from our ears always have a control of our bodies. Feeling that spinal bend here. Chin comes up, allowing our head to slightly relax back between our shoulder blades. We 
you're gonna hang out here four more breaths. As we relax, flowing into our Superman or Supergirl, breathe, breathing our hands forward. Our feet is off the floor, kind of like we're in a locust pose. Yes, we are in our superheroes pose. Superman, Supergirl. Two more breaths. This pose is not good for a pregnant person. As we swim my hands backwards into our locust pose. Now our hands are swimming our hands backwards. Our hands are parallel to our legs. We are in our locust. Our feet, our legs are off the earth. See that there? Our chest is off the earth. We are in our locust. This is a back bend. If we're able. Now, if the locust pose is not good for us, we can always relax here in a, in a rest pose. Always giving our bodies or our clients the option to do another pose. Two more breaths. If our bodies feel relaxed or if we need a break, we can come into a sleep pose. But if we want to keep on moving forward, because we got a couple minutes left, we can come into a bow pose by taking our right hand to our right foot. And if this feels good, we can bring our left hand to our left foot and lift our bodies up off the floor even more. Noticing how our backs are bending even deeper. This is a deeper back bend here. We are in our bow pose. So the locust pose, which is the pose we just did, prepares the body and the mind for the bow pose. See that there? So we don't want to put a person into a bow pose until we first put them into a locust pose because it preps the mind and the body. Three more breaths. <sighs> Relaxing and soothing. <sighs> As we release our feet, swimming our hands back forward, now coming into a sleeping rest pose. <sighs> Relaxing the sides of our face onto our hands, maybe closing our eyes, allowing our shoulders to melt forward into the yoga mat. Nice, deep breath. Exhale fully. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As our eyes are closed and we relax here, three more breaths. Oh, as we awaken our bodies, Four arms onto the floor, building that back bend. Mm. Chin comes up, head falls backwards between our shoulders. Coming into our up dog. Just working that spinal cord one more time. As we exhale to wide-legged child's pose, relaxing here just for a second. Walking our fingers to the front of the yoga mat, feeling that stretch. As we do a couple of spinal waves.
crossing our feet behind us. Whenever we're ready, coming into a seated position. Now I'm bringing our feet kind of forward. Our feet are off the earth. We are working our core here, our abdominal muscles. We're gonna do a boat pose before we call it an evening. We gotta work those abdominal muscles here. So coming into that boat pose, whatever boat pose feels good for you, <sighs> coming into that boat straight up like this or crossing the feet. Noticing how the boat pose strengthens and tightens the, adapt the abdominal muscles. It also balances our bodies. So whatever boat pose feels good for you, we're gonna hang out here for seven natural breaths, doing whatever boat pose that feels good for you. Four more breaths. Two more breaths, working our core here. Keeping our legs in the air in our boat pose, we're gonna rock our hands from side to side from the sides of our bodies. We are working our obliques here. Because we work our core, we wanna work our obliques, making our waist just a little bit smaller. <sighs> we can move as slow or as fast as we choose to. We're gonna do this for five more breaths. Starting to feel the burn. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center, bringing our hands to our feet together, hands and feet together. Dropping my bodies, dropping our bodies to our butterfly. Coming into a seated cow. Chin comes up, heart chakra comes up. Head falls backwards towards our, between our shoulder blades. Exhale back to cat. We're gonna do a couple of cat cow rotations. <sighs> Simply relaxing the spinal cord from that boat pose we just did. As we use our hands to bring our knees together, we're gonna fall onto our backs, coming into a knee to chest. <sighs> oh, closing our eyes or gazing downward, allowing our shoulder blades to fall backwards into the earth, hugging our knees into our chest. <sighs> nice deep breath. Exhale through the mouth. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, recline, spinal twist, knees fall towards the left, right arm comes off towards the side. As we gaze over that right arm or gaze upwards towards the heavens, with our knees bent, we can feel the spinal twist or we can straighten out our right leg like a T to the side to come in deeper into that pose, feeling the spinal Stretch even more. Closing our eyes. Our backs are relaxed into the yoga mat. Four more natural breaths. Exhale back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. <sighs> Spinal twist, right side, knees fall towards the right. Left arm goes off towards the side like a T. As we gaze over that left, over that left shoulder or up in the air, feeling the spinal twist here. Now, if we wanna go deeper, 
and feel the stretch even more, we can take our left leg and straighten it out to the side like a T. Feeling that stretch even more. Whatever feels good for you. We're gonna hang out here. Six natural breaths. Three more breaths. Exhale back to center, knees to chest, hugging them in. Oh, nice deep breath. Exhale, feet fall flat to the floor, knees are in the air. We're gonna work on a bridge pose before we come into our Shavasana. Using our feet to lift our buttocks off the air, noticing how this feels in our gluteus maximus here. Holding this pose, or we can do a couple of bridge pose pulses by lifting our buttocks up and down. Working on our buns of steel here. Whatever feels good for you, we can hang up. And if we want to go deeper, we can actually bring our hands underneath our buttocks and interlace our hands and walk our shoulder blades towards our spinal cord. Noticing how it brings our hips and our chest up higher in the air. We also can feel that burn even deeper here in our gluteus maximus. Whatever feels good for you. Natural breath. And if we choose to go deeper, we can actually come into a three-legged bridge by taking our left foot and relaxing it on top of our right thigh next to our knee. Noticing how that feels in our three-legged bridge, if we choose. And if you want to do the opposite side, taking that right leg, bringing it up and relaxing it on the left thigh, ensuring that our buttocks is off the earth. Noticing how that feels. We're going to hang out here in our bridge of choice for six more natural breaths. Please don't forget that we can do bridge pulse pulses if that feels good for us. Lifting and soothing our gluteus maximus. Working on our buns of steel here. Nice round butt. Three more breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully, relax in the body, <sighs> hugging in our knees into our chest, lifting our legs up in the air, legs on a wall pose or invisible wall in our case, reaching our hands down to the lower parts of our legs and bringing our legs in towards our torso, feeling that stretch. Three more breaths. Exhale back to legs on a wall. <sighs> Bringing our knees in towards our chest. Hugging them in. Allowing our left leg to go straight out in front of us in a parallel position. Allowing our right leg to go straight out to the side. Both of our legs are parallel, parallel side by side. The heels of our feet on the sides are connecting as we allow our feet to fall towards the side like a V, completely relaxing our legs. Our eyes are closed or gaze downward if that feels comfortable. Our shoulder blades are relaxed backwards 
into the yoga mat. Our bodies are starting to feel nice and relaxed. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we find ourselves in Shavasana. May we use the next 10 breaths to relax and silence meditation. Five more breaths. <sighs> Two more breaths. As we roll onto our sides in a fetal position, keeping our eyes gazed downward or closed, if that feels good. Five more breaths. Two more breaths. As we use our hand, before we do that, maybe we can move our feet and our ankles in circular rotations. Maybe we can move our buttocks at our hips. Noticing how that feels to awaken our bodies. We can keep our eyes closed if that feels good for us. As we take our hand that's feathers away from the earth to push our bodies up into a seated position, any seated pose of choice. May you find that seat. If you choose to keep your eyes gazed downward, bringing our palms that heart center, our thumbs are touching our sternum, shoulders are relaxed down away from our ears. As we take this time Thank ourselves for practicing self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for ourselves. Nice deep breath in. Exhale. 
Noticing how that feels. Spinal cord's nice and long, nice and straight. Tummy's tight. Shoulders are away from the ears. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. As we relax. As we give thanks to ourselves. As we continue to show ourselves love and gratitude. With our palms at heart center and our eyes gaze downwards. May we give thanks to ourselves for showing up for self. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you. Namaste.